Hi, this is Alex Weedle, and I'm here to read an excerpt of my young adult novel, Cane Warriors. We dropped our bowls and mugs in the wooden box. Miss Gloria didn't meet our eyes. Fireflies hovered over her cooking pot. We collected our bill hooks from the water tub. I sensed all eyes on me. I glanced up and down the dirt track. The western hills were now crowned with an amber glow. My heart pounded like old Mr. Cliff's hammer when he was fixing a large wheel. I shared a now or never look with Keverton. He nodded. The small creatures in the field had already started their nighttime arguments. I gripped the handle of my knife so tight that redness appeared under my nails. Homea had stopped pulling her handcart on the way to the millhouse and watched us. I felt her eyes burning into me. They would soon come for me more. It might be tonight they would drag her out of her cabin. If she refused, they would take her anyway. I didn't want to foul her. My heart started to beat a warrior drum song. I prayed that the sky god, my lady, would guide me. Pick me, stop playing. Say, I whispered to Keverton, say the door bolted. Bolted or not bolted, we have to kick it down. And then Keverton dashed towards Mr. Donaldson's hut. I soon caught up with him. If my heart could have run, it would have reached the cabin first. We both kicked the door down. Dust flew up in my eyes. I blinked furiously. Mr. Donaldson was taking his rest on, him, on his bed. He only wore his pants. His chest and feet were bare. His back ripper was on a table beside him next to an open bridle and a wooden cup. He shot up quickly, not quite believing that he was being confronted by two field slaves armed with bill hooks. He went for his back ripper. Keverton hesitated. His weapon trembled in his right hand. I didn't want to see Keverton whipped again. I didn't want Mr. Massa to force me to view his broken body. I couldn't bear it to dig Keverton's pit. I didn't want to see him dangling from a thick branch. Fear left me. My Amy was with me. I charged towards my tormentor. The whip crack was loud. He caught me on the neck and the pain was deep and intense. It didn't stop me. Use both hands, Lewis had advised. Dig deep, twist. Make sure he don't breathe another dirty breath.